Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host Steve. Up next is the Tamiya Yamaha XV1000, the V-twin engine air-cooled Verigo. Now this is Yamaha motorcycle. It had a top speed of 84 miles an hour and if you wanted to try to go any faster, good luck because vibrations were starting to happen at that speeds with uh, 4500 RPMs. So anyway, this is a classic kit from Tamiya and this motorcycle was only available from 1984 to 85 and you could get yourself one if, if you need to back in those days. It is a very good looking motorcycle. It's one that always caught my eye when I was growing up and uh, I think it's a fantastic bike. So without further ado, let's do an open box review of this kit. And of course this kit is in 112 scale and first off that caught my eye are the tires, the rubber tires. So that's very cool there. And look at the chrome. The chrome that is included in this kit looks fantastic. We'll get a closer look at that in a little bit. And we have black styrene and some gray styrene along with clear for the headlights, tail lights and such and some decals. Of course the kit instructions both in Japanese and in English. I'll be right back. And you can see here the Japanese ones here. They also give us a little tech tip here on building models and I've seen this a lot recently in the in these Tamiya kits so very cool there very nice double-sided so if you've never built one before hey there you go right pretty much these kits are shake and bake right yeah all right so let's look it over and typical to me instructions black and white color called outs throughout so we have the first three a little more there building the engine that's what it's all about with these motorcycle kits. And I do have more kits to review, more motorcycle kits. This is the beginning. Very nice there. And that. Quite a lot involved here. Very nice. And that. And lastly, color call out to get a little closer here you go next one and how to apply decals let's look at the parts and here are the parts and you can see here very nice tread pattern with that markings Bridgestone tires very detailed that is impressive very good job with the rubber on this front tire just have to clean the seam up I usually sand that off a little bit and take a pair of uh, jeans some blue jeans and rub it on the blue jeans and that makes it look a little bit worn it looks good though when you do it that way but yes very nice and you know if you're going to store this kit away make sure you put this in plastic so it will protect the other plastic parts from this so put it in a plastic bag we did receive two metal springs and some rubber hose material for the fuel lines and for the fuel and for the brake lines that's what they look like along with some pins screws that's what they are they're not pins they are screws there's threads on them very cool tree a you can see we have the frame of the motorcycle the seat the fuel tank battery covers very nice there handlebar grips there's the seat frame, some of the covers, handlebar grips, more covers, looks 
like an exhaust pipe. Verco logo on that cover. The other side of the frame. The gas tank, Yamaha on the side. Very nice. More frame parts. And glue together kit, of course. And here's the silver colored tree. This is the uh, spoked aluminum wheels, the engine parts, cylinders and such, the brake discs, carburetors. Let's get a closer look. Very detailed here with the carburetors going on. Uh, intake exhaust manifold. The aluminum spoked wheels. Very detailed with the uh, air valves. Parts of the cylinders, walls for the engine. It is the V-twin engine. Engine case or block. It's very nice. And lastly, the disc brakes. Very nice. Turned over. Really nothing to see on that side. And the next one is our clear parts. This gives us the clear parts for the headlights, taillights, turn signals. Very nice. Here's the decals. Here's the decals. Gives us the speedometer and tack. License plate. The gold trim for the fuel tank. And last but not least, the chrome tree. And you can see here, got quite a bit going on here in this tree. Chrome is very nice on this side right here. The other side, not so nice. It's more of a matte finish. And that does kind of affect the exhaust system here a little bit. Um, headlight buckets, they are kind of dull. The inside of the fenders and such. So Let's get a closer look. Here's the foot pegs, the mirrors, front forks, mufflers, turn signals, covers, fender, front one, the back fender, engine covers, those are very nice. More parts for the muffler, frame, exhaust, brake light, once again, headlight, turn signals, linkages, shocks, handlebars, nice. Turn it over and you see how it's not as shiny on this side and that will affect the tailpipe a little. The inside of the headlights, brake lights, Right there. And of course, with chrome, you want to remove the chrome before you glue it together. But there you have it. And that was the open box review of the Yamaha XV1000 V Twin Virago from 1984-85. This is a Tamiya kit in 112 scale. Fantastic kit. It really is, uh, it caught my eye, like I said, 
and I had to get it. So it's not your typical size though. It is kind of a small box for a 112 scale motorcycle kit. I have others I want to show you in reviews. So look forward to seeing those here real soon on my channel. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up. It helps the algorithms. It helps get my channel out there. You know, I've been around a long time. I should have more than what I have as far as subscribership. And it only takes you to help that out. So I am getting ready to do a big giveaway. And that giveaway is only going to happen when I reach a certain amount in my subscribership. So I will make that announcement here real soon. So with that, happy modeling, everybody, and take care.